saw this article that RAM and SSD prices will soon be going down and it looked like they could be falling up to 10% in the fourth quarter um, making it really good time to buy new NVMe drives or RAM for your computer. So that's really good news and that's why I'm going to be doing this video of head-to-head -head NVMe drives that I'm going to use. Here's my Samsung 970 Evo. It's a 500 gigabyte NVMe drive and it's kind of like the gold standard. The sequential reads and sequential writes are above 2500 and it just can do really well even with a large queue. This is still my Samsung Evo. This is just a different benchmark that the Samsung drive came with. It's Samsung's benchmark. This is the crystal disk mark that came on my HP Spectre. It's a 512 gigabyte SSD. Um, the read speeds are pretty close to the Samsung's, however the write speeds are about 1200 megabytes per second slower, but it's still a pretty good drive overall. This is a one terabyte Sabrent Q drive that I have in my wife's computer, and the write speeds seem way smaller than I would have expected, however the read speeds are right on par with what we'd expect. And the Q depth, it does pretty well. Um, that bottom bar there is pretty good. This is a 250 gigabyte WD Blue NVMe drive that I have. I put it in a Mac Mini, and so I don't know if the interface is a little bit slower than normal, but those numbers are lower than I would expect as well. And I may be testing that in another motherboard configuration just to see if putting it in a proper M.2 slot would give it better read and write speed. This is what a typical SSD drive will look like that's not an NVMe drive. This is a SATA SSD drive. It's 120 gigabytes. I've got this on my Hackintosh. This is the Blackmagic Disk Task. Uh, it will usually cap out at around 520 megabytes per second if it's a good one at reading and writing, maybe up to 550. But with NVMe drives, you're able to get up to like 4500 if you go for a fourth generation NVMe drive and that is just an awesome speed increase and the prices aren't that different from a SATA SSD to the NVMe drives once you get over about 500 gigabytes so I prefer to use NVMe drives I hope this video has been helpful and if you like it hit that like button and subscribe to the channel thanks you guys and have a great day